Good morning, everyone. Ron Phillips with Romika Designs. We've got another customer order we're going to do this morning. Uh, you've seen us do the Bevan Bells in the past. This one's uh, a red Bevan Bell. We get a lot of orders for the Bevan Bells. A lot of people love these. They call them spirit bells or what have you. They've got a fantastic tone. Bevan actually does really, really well with their bells and we are a Bevan Bell uh, distributor. So the order that we got last night is from Daniel, but uh, this is a laser engraved Bevan Spirit Bell. Uh, we're going to put uh, WSU Cougar logo with the name Vickerin on the, on the uh, front. And then on the back, we're going to put the Washington State University Go Cougs logo. So it's a birthday gift. So happy birthday to you, Daniel. And uh, let's get started on this, shall we? The first thing we're gonna do is go out and see if I can find the files in the client's folder. Hopefully they're out there. Looks like they are. So let's see if I can pull these over. And then I've got to, um, I've got to trace them. So we use a program, like I've mentioned before, called Lightburn. And when we do a Lightburn file, we can pull it in, trace it, and turn it into a vector file. So there's that's what I did just now. That vector file allows me to scale it without losing any of the file or the image itself. Uh, we've got another file we're gonna bring in. I think we'll be able to do this one. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try it. Sometimes when the files are multiple colored files, we can't really do much with them. Going to try to go ahead and scan that one in. Let's see what it does, or trace it rather. So the Washington State University didn't come out very well on that trace, and I've got some other stuff out here. But we're going to try to duplicate this. So I'll move it up here and we'll work on it on the screen. So what I'm saying by duplicate is I got the Go Cougs pretty well. And in order for me to get rid of stuff like, and you, you guys heard me the other day talk about the stuff that comes in, the junk, the junk pieces that come in once in a while. And this little black dot right here is one of them. So I have to ungroup and then I can select that black dot. Boom, deleted, it's gone. But here's what I'm also gonna have to do, unfortunately, is I'm gonna have to remove all of this down here uh, because the uh, scan or the image, as you can see, didn't grab everything like it needed to. These, these uh, words and letters were just too small, unfortunately, and that happens all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to recreate this using the closest font that I have. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have to do it in a couple of different ways. So there's my W. And um, I'll make an S. And then I'll come over here and make a U. Those will be the main cap letters for the Washington State University. And then I have to do the rest of the words. And all of these need to be different, separate pieces. And I'll show you why in a second. And I know I'm going through this really fast have time to uh, explain a lot, but you'll understand here in a minute. All right, so I've got all of these separate letters and separate uh, rest of the word, if you will, right? So there's Washington State University all spread out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these letters, put them next to each other, And then I'm going to raise the size of these letters just a bit. So now when I place this W in front of the rest of the word, then it looks all caps up here. There's probably an easier method to do it. I've just found that this works for me. Uh, I'm gonna group those together. We'll grab the S and move it down.
And so now I can group those. So I've got nested groups, right? So this isn't gonna be exact, but you'll see me playing with it a little bit here to get it as close as possible to what this has up to and including raising the height of the letters. Bringing it in a little bit. I think that was a trademark symbol, but we'll go with this just in case. So that is how we're gonna do that. So now, as a grouping again, another grouping, I can now resize this so that when I get ready to do the bell, it looks like it's supposed to. So on the front, B-I-C-K-O-R-E-N in all caps below this. So we'll put this here, then I'll select this, and then I'll center it so that it stays centered. And then I'll take this and bring it down to the size that I need for my bell. And the first thing I want to do, of course, is see what this looks like on the bell. So I'm going to go just with the bounding box first so that I can line the bell up. Okay, so if you can see that, suffice it to say, I've got it lined up and centered. So everything in that logo is going to fit inside this box that you see scanning on the bell. I can also use my H-U-L-L or hull framing that will show me what that's going to be the outline of on the bell, or I can simply use the contour where it draws everything on the bell. Everything selected, we're gonna start. Let me put my safety goggles on, safety glasses. And I, it's gonna be two 45 degree passes, I believe, one in each direction. And I may have to adjust the laser after I get it started, but you'll see me do that and then we'll let it burn. So here we go. All right, very nice. A little warm, but not hot. Very good, let's flip it over and get going on the other side. Okay, up here in the design software, we're finished with this side. Move it off out of the work area. Bring this one over. Let's center it up. Okay, so I'm looking at this logo here. And because I know the word go is thin, I'm gonna let this wrap the sides at the very top of the box, this bounding box. I'm gonna let it wrap the sides a little bit, center the rest of the box, line it up on the bottom, and then do a contour so I can see. And we'll go ahead and get this ball rolling. It'll do two passes first, take a little bit longer because the go and the Cougs has a fill. So it's gonna fill it and let's go.
All right, very good. The engrave is done. Let's see what it looks like. Looks really clear to me. It looks good. A whole lot of soot on the bell. I'm gonna just let that sit there and cool down a little bit. I can turn off some of these fans because I won't need them now. All right, let's see. All right, bell is warm, but not hot. Let's make a move over here to the uh, other table. So I've got an old blue cloth that I use here, bamboo toothbrush that I use. Uh, I found these on Amazon, fantastic. And they last a good long while. Uh, this three-in-one oil, just a, just a standard three-in-one oil that I use. It, rem it removes this mess and protects it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started on that. So I just put a little bit of oil on there scrub it and you can, you'll see it darken up. You'll see it on the other side better, but as it pulls that stuff out of the engrave. And then I just simply wipe it off. Try to get all the oil I can off of the bell. Don't want to ship it with all that oil on it. Good and clean there. Let's do the other side. Now this is gonna get kind of dark with all the funk that's on the bell. These toothbrushes are good and sturdy. So they get down inside the bell pretty good. What can you not do with a uh, fiber cloth, a microfiber cloth? Nothing. I use microfiber cloths all over this studio because quite honestly, I love them. Here we are, go Cougs, Washington State University on the back, a little bit lighter outlined logo, but it's definitely engraved. You can feel the engrave, but there you go, Daniel, happy birthday. There you go, Red Bevan Bell, sounds good. Uh, we're going to add a little wrist strap here, or a little safety wrist strap to it before we ship it. Um, but there you go, folks. You guys, we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. At Romika Designs, we're more than just a laser engraving and specialty design company. Much more. I'm Ron Phillips, co-owner of Romika Designs. And if you can dream it, we can probably make it. We can custom laser cut and engrave on nearly all material. Great for one-of-a-kind gifts, home decor, business and specialty items, or personalized and logo designs created just for you or your company. Allow us to become your go-to gift and specialty project partner. Romika Designs can help make your ideas a reality. We're ready to help you design and create that special gift for any occasion or engrave your personal or business logo on just about any product. View our designs at romikadesigns.com or simply email us with your ideas. We specialize in custom design and we'd be honored to have the opportunity to discuss it with you. Call us at 817-400-4040, email info at romikadesigns.com or visit us on the web at romikadesigns.com.